Hi, it's Lynn from Lynn EC Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent stamping art demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. This is the card that I'm going to make a version of for you. It uses the Jar of Flowers stamp set and I've used the sentiment from Free as a Bird. Now, this stamp set is lovely. It's in the current annual catalogue on pages 10 to 13 and it's part of a suite and the card is inspired by one of the cards in the catalogue. So this is the stamp set. It does come as a bundle with this punch but I'm not using the punch today. I'm going to use a base of crumb cake. This is half a sheet of A4 folded in half. All the measurements and instructions will be on my blog and there'll be a link below for that. The only other thing I'm using is two sheets of Whisper White which are cut slightly smaller to leave a border around so that you can see the base of the card. So I'll get on and stamp. I've already mounted my stamps on the blocks. I'm going to colour with blends but I probably won't show you that. And I'm just using two colours of ink and plus the black for the outlines. Now this card uses the um, masking technique. I've already cut out a mask on a post-it note with the sticky bit there because I want to stamp the flowers and then the vases that down and you can see I've cut the image actually on the line I've cut out this mask on the line so that when you stamp there's no hopefully there's no gaps between the next stamp and what we're doing so the vase and on this card I'm going to come off the bottom so that's one and I'm going to stamp this four times. I've made, I love this stamp set. I really have used it quite a lot. It's, I've got, um, it's kind of my favourite so far. Got an order on its way, hopefully. So that won't, that may not, that may change as I get new products to play with. But um, I think this is a really lovely and versatile set. And I will be sharing various other cards that I've made with it. So there are the vases. And by using that masking, the flowers are, are overhanging. So I'm actually going to just ink that floral stamp up again. Pop that on that corner there. I should have left that mask in place because I want to stamp the stems for those flowers. So really in place, there we go. And we've got some granny apple green. Stamp that down. I'm using, I'll show you on here. So you can actually reverse the stamp. You get one side is this and then you can infill with the rest. So I'm going to stamp off. I've got pool party ink there and it just so that the flowers are in water. And then I'm going to use some stamping blends to colour these in. And I've got a variety here. Sped up this part of the video because you don't really want to see me um, colour in real time. I'm not an expert by any means. I've got some old olive stamping blends, doing a little bit of blending there, uh, light crumb cake, and then on those bigger flowers, I've got dark petal pink, and then the dark calypso coral around the edge of the flowers, and then blending in with the lighter calypso coral. There's some, a neighbour's actually got these flowers, these kind of roses that are darker on the edges. And uh, that's what I'm trying to go for. But as I said before, I'm not really very 
confident at my blending but I'm sure hopefully if I practice that will come and then I'm going over the top with light petal pink then I'm using dark and light daffodil delight on those flowers so there we are, not expertly done, but happy with that. I'm going to leave them plain on the inside of the card. And then I just need the memento back again to, t to stamp the thank you. Hopefully I'm going to get this straight. That's good enough for me. Let's get this stuck on the base. And you know that I love the Tombow glue because it gives you the wiggle room. make sure the dot goes in straight or as straight as it can be it's a homemade card after all so there we are and then i've in my stash i've got a few um sequins there's i've got glue on the back and i've just popped them in place but otherwise that is a very clean and simple stamping is it simple stamping anyway all the details will be in my blog below um, thank you so much for watching and i will um, see you again soon take care for now bye bye